No. This part that. Uh, and this is another one. This is a Santa Rosa. Oh, oh Santa Rosa form. Good, and you put them next to each other so they can cross pollinate. And then there are also the apple trees here. And Mario has cleared up this whole... He cleared the whole area. Yes. <laughs> so that's Granny Smith, yes. Fuji and Gela. Cool. All right. So that's this area, but there's another area. <laughs> and we have a sprinkler system as well. More or less, in the side and in the back. Uh, that has to be restarted and tested and fixed. So, but if you don't have a person you can do that, I think I have a person who might come. In. Yes, it, that'll be helpful. You, their name is Plantscapes. Yes. So I'll give you the phone number. Yes. They, they can come out and they can run through the whole thing to make sure it's fun functioning. Yes. Oh, this is. I have this in my garden too. A few things, it just needs to be more artistically planted. Mm -hmm. They're all right. Mm -hmm. But you know, that bathroom, the nice thing is where you do groups of it, it's the composition. So, what you do, yes, and there's also lighting, so we can enhance the lighting. Can you, you see that lighting there? There's everywhere. Oh, great. And inside, there are huge pots. Oh, they're, they're, they're buried in here. Can they go yes. up here? Yes. Yes. Sure. Oh, there they are. Is there two? I'm not sure. I think maybe only one, but that's already. Like you come close to the house. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to have a few really nice big pots than a lot of little ones. The little ones get too big. And you want the. Um, the pots to be the similar looking and this isn't going to last too much longer here because it's disintegrating but um if you get pots i think uh, you want to get maybe another large one here that because it's kind of something you live with you know so yes. a really big beautiful one here would be nice mm -hmm. but oh you got roses here The See, there's a, that bunch has grown nicely. Do the deer nibble on the rose? No. No. They don't come close to the house. Yeah, and I, last year I cut it a little bit, but I was a little uh, afraid to cut too much. Yeah. So, this should just go. I mean, the birds can perch on it, but I, it's, it's not worth keeping. And it's, yes. It's not a good energy right there. Yes. So, you could maybe okay, have him all. get rid of this. Yeah. From the root or just cut yeah, it? Yeah, just have him, um, I think it'll come up pretty easy. Well, it's trying to sprout here, but it's sprouting from the base, which means it's different than the top. Yeah. It was grafted. So I think you should probably just get rid of that. Yes. And then, uh, I start, that's not really good, well done, yeah. but I start to cut it down because it was too sure. well. Is this mock one? I think this is fragrant, so this just needs Yes, this is beautiful fragrant. Yeah, so you should keep it here and just shape it up a bit. Yeah. And, uh, it's okay. This is a vine. This is actually native to the area of the Himalayas in like northern India, this one. Yes. It's a clematis montana. But this is a little out of balance, maybe. Uh, keep the vine and train it up, if possible, up along there. Mmm. Or above the window, because this will get 20 feet high or so, mm -hmm. if you let it. And then, this is a little in the wrong place, so I would probably take that and put some, I would, uh, I think you should probably just pull this out. Yes. It's not working very well in there. Yes, it looks quite crowded, you know? Yeah, it doesn't quite balance there. <laughs> yes, and this is a whole area for development. There's nothing much here, so you can think of it as a 
greenfield project yeah. but this deck is new and then imagine this could be this is a mini room like a, we call it cottage yeah. so uh, it can be an airbnb eventually at some point and so people come and then they stay here and so this i think has a lot of potential yeah. <laughs> this whole area is like a mini garden with its own. It's tranquil a bit, already tranquil in here. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Nice, nice. And this is the composting pile. Oh, great. Yeah. So this can be formalized, maybe uh, I was thinking four composting piles where you but put them sequentially and harvest and then so each of them gets a few months. And we have a tractor, generator. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of getting the Husqvarna automatic mower. Uh -huh. So that way it just keeps mowing every day. So that you can drive mowing. It's all What's it called? Grad mow? Well, a, drive, little bit. a driving mower, you mean? No, this is a driving mower, but that's the small one that just goes around oh, okay. and like does it by itself. Curve. Yes, it, it just does it itself every day. And this is a hammock and place to sit. You can see if there's anything that needs to be done in this area. Yeah. Nice. Big table. Uh, Mario made the table from a plank. Oh, really? Yes, it was just a plank and then he made it into a picnic table. <laughs> Mario has put in a lot of love and effort into this place. So he's kind of a carpenter too. A bit. Yeah, he's a little bit of everything. <laughs> Come, Mario. <laughs> yes. Also with the pots, you want fewer pots? Yes. But huge ones. Yes. You can, the larger pot, the better. Yes. And then you can remove the smaller ones because they're a little busy. The eye. Yes. Here I was hoping there could be a water feature so that starts the there and this it out. goes like this here. Oh, and runs here. it runs through here, the whole thing. And no, there isn't, but I think it's yeah. kind of designed like that. That one operates. Yeah. That's a water feature that operates. It does just by itself. Okay? Yes. Yeah. But you didn't want animals to fall in there. So That's why we have clo closed. A squirrel fell into it. Oh, okay. You could maybe put a little screen over there. Huh? Yes, that was the idea. To, yeah. you have to put a you have a light on that at night? Actually, that would be a great idea to put a light inside yeah, it. Right there. Yes, but there's a light inside this. Oh, this there's bush. a light outside and it shines. This up. bush? Yeah. Below that, there's a light. Okay. Yeah. There's a light. You see the Buddha there? Mm -hmm. There's a light below that, too. Okay. Yeah, Francesca told me there were quite a few different lights around. Yes, there. but they, they have to be added in that corner. Yeah, so um, I don't have much expertise on water gardens, so you'd have to talk to somebody else about doing that, you know? Yes. But, but that's um, the last one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, but the sprinkler system is working pretty well, then. Anyway, it might need to be checked to make sure yes. it works properly. Yes, so your friends can check it. So some things need to be moved a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's just the... And the big pots are really kind of sacred feeling, you know, of yes. large pots. Yes. And I can maybe write, you write down some places where you might find them, and there are certain times of the year that are probably better to buy them. Or you might want to do one a year, just get one a year or whatever for a few years so that you don't have <laughs> to spend too much. But what you want to do is get the pots mostly the same color. Hmm. Yes. So stick with a brown or a, I guess you could stick with a cool blue, but the brown tends to hold up through different See, like that, stuff. yeah, and that's the blue. Yeah. In the back, next to the, on the deck. Yeah, you went, or you could move that one next to the other blue one so that they're yes. near yeah, each other. Yeah, that they are together. Yeah, and then get uh, a really big blue one over there. I but, think there is yeah. maybe... <clears throat> Yeah, you want them to have a 
kind of relate to each other. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Well, that's purple, but that's purple. but you can kind of. I would keep that one. But I think that you want to get rid of all the terracotta. Yeah, no, yeah, and they're on their way out. And what you want is high fire Vietnamese pots, which nice big ones. And I can I can give you a, a source for those if you want to look at them for them. Mm -hmm. You, you can just do it slowly, you know, every year get a good big pot, but they'll make, give a lot of atmosphere. <laughs> yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. So, I do think that maybe the side of the house needs some shade plantings to soften it, mm. you know, or to look out onto. Yes. yes. Some Maybe some unusual rhododendrons. There's some species of rhododendrons that have big giant leaves like magnolias. And they get them like in, in the Himalayas, in the in the rainforests over there, and they're big, huge, leathery leaves, and they're very beautiful. Hmm. And I can I'll write that down for you. Yes. But it just needs to be softened a little bit once it's cleared. Yeah, yeah we have to clear out. So yeah, and yeah. some of the rhododendrons 